Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in the studio today. I'm actually here creating something very special for my garden. I love things that sparkle and glisten in the garden and so I'm going to show you how to create a candle chandelier using chicken wire. To create your chandelier, you're going to need your chicken wire. You're also going to need a piece of aluminum wire or you could recycle this from a coat hanger and just straighten it out. I also have some 20 gauge, just regular aluminum uh, wire, wire cutters, and then a heavy duty pair of scissors. And all, of course, along with this, you will also need some beads and some chain of your choice. The first step is to create this decorative edge. And so you can see that I have a piece of wire. It's about a half inch longer on each side. And my chicken wire is actually nine circles wide and four circles tall. So what you'll need to do is you're going to follow this little line right here, this edge, and you're just going to bend these little edges over and wrap those around with a pair of pliers to secure them. Now work your wire into kind of a cylinder shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect cylinder, that doesn't matter, but you're going to want to bend this all the way around and match up your pattern right here on the edge and all these extra pieces all these extra ends of the wire you're going to loop this around to secure and make your cylinder go ahead and just kind of refine your circle shape make it a little bit more round as round as you can and most likely what you're going to be left with is some ends here at the bottom of this uh, cylinder so what you'll do is you'll take and you'll cut those ends off right next to the circle so what you want to to leave here is a full well it's actually an octagon but you want to leave a full octagon and then you're going to take those octagon shapes and uh, you'll also see a kind of a, a wire line on each side you're going to use that as the fold line and you're going to fold those and bend those in half fold those down towards the center of your cylinder. Now I've pulled a length of wire off of my spool and what I did is I attached it right here. I just uh, wound the end of the wire around and around and around the, uh, the little loop here to secure and so I'm wrapping and I'm going to eventually complete this circle. So right here I'm ready to jump across there so I'll just put that over and pull it through wrap it around a couple times and I'm just going to continue until I have completed the circle. If you run out of wire just uh, wrap on a new piece and continue all the way around. When you finished completing your circle then what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of your wire or maybe you'll even need to wrap another wire piece on and you're going to uh, wrap a crisscross so from opposite end to opposite end and then wrap 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 around and do that again finish off by wrapping around and essentially you have completed the base of your chandelier now is where you get to have a lot of fun experimenting with what works, what doesn't work. Grab those bits and pieces of broken jewelry and findings that you have. The first thing I would do though is attach a piece of chain or attach three chains to this and as you're working on all the droplets let it hang and then you'll get a, a better visual of what it's going to look like when it's completed. It's kind of hard to see because it's laying down but I've added some coils, I have some crystal drops and some more chain and it's just a lot of fun things and a lot of this I have recycled from the broken bits and pieces that I've taken from other projects. So I've got a very special place that I'm going to hang that. That way I can sit there and enjoy it for a long time. I hope I've inspired you to create this project. Remember, you can get the project instructions on the website. That is going to wrap it up for me today. Remember, keep living the creative life because I think it's cool to craft.